Hey, it's Joseph here. Enscape offers many different ways to export beautiful renderings. From the simplest form of export the images, to walkthrough videos, monoscopic and stereoscopic panoramas, and exporting EXC standalones for real-time walkthrough and the VR experience. And lastly, the new kid on the block that I am very excited to share about, exporting the web standalone. First of all, let's open up a good model to perform these exports on. I got a few of these models and I think I'm just going to use this one. And in order to do any of the exports, you have to have Enscape started. So let's go ahead and do that. Just a find button that says start Enscape and just click on it and it's just going to start. So there it is live and kicking and I'm going to snap this window right here and this window on the left. So let's start with the simplest one of the pack, render image. I'm just gonna pull this out so we can just see it a lot easier. So pull this dialog here and then just stretch that so that I have access to both Enscape and Enscape capturing menu. And you can simply locate render image button right here and just click on it and it is going to just pop up a dialog for you to save. And desktop, I'm fine with that, save and it is just going to render away whatever you're viewing at that moment on the Enscape screen. If you wish to dial in some of the different settings, then you can just find this button right here, settings, and then when the settings dialog opens, you can go to capture and you can tweak a few different options here. As rule of thumb, I like to keep my resolution at 1080p because it is a native resolution for a lot of computer screens out there and Enscape is so quick rendering all the images at this resolution so I can literally just snapshot the renderings with consistent aspect ratios. If you really desire to, you can increase the resolution up to 8192 by 8192 pixels in customs. However, prompting you that if your graphic card's not good enough, then it may fail on doing so. So I just keep things at 1080p there and it should be fine. And then you can just check on this checkbox here to export material IDs and depth channels or the automatic naming is available. I actually prefer this option. So I am going to check that so that Enscape just timestamps all of my images rather than me trying to come up with unique name every single time and I just like the ability to snapshot away all of the views that I want and all of those are set to go to my desktop so you can just assign desktop in this case and whilst I am snapshotting all of these images away I just like JPEG option because it is just simpler as well as lighter however when I'm doing a full-on rendering I may resort to PNGs and turning on export materials ID as well as increasing the resolution resolution a lot higher. However, for this purpose, I'm just going to keep it at JPEG. So I have a hotkey of Shift F11 and I have used different hotkeys such as Shift X or Shift 10 or Shift 11. Uh, Shift 11 was something that was assigned as a default and I sort of accepted that. Shift X did not work for me because when I'm typing uppercase X, it is just taking a snapshot. So there was a sort of a mix up there. I couldn't find one that just consistently works well within SketchUp and Revit in any of the application that I have on so that it doesn't conflict. So what is your hotkey for the rendering images? Uh, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. I would like to know. I want to find out the better solution. And let's move on to the next part render video simply find this button video editor on and off button or just on your Enscape screen just hit keyboard K and this should pop up and you can just add a keyframe and then just move on to the next spot like so and add another keyframe and then I'm just gonna go in slightly further on and look around this way and add a keyframe and then you can click on preview or press P if you are satisfied. Also, you have to make sure you have desired settings such as a resolutions and compressions and FPS in the settings. So settings menu again, and then the capture, you have those options available right here. And once that is satisfactory, you can just go ahead and do render video. And then you can just press button right here called render video. And after telling Enscape where to save the file, Enscape will render the video for you. That was quite easy, right? 
But Enscape has so much features regarding video renders. So if you're in for more tips and tricks in video renders, then you can check out Phil Reed's article, which I will leave the link in the description for you to follow. And there will be another link for an in-depth video and animation tutorial created by Architectural Inspirations. The third one I wanna mention is Render Panorama. I have actually covered this topic before, so you can just find the link in the description or just click on this banner right here. And when when it comes to panoramas, you have two different choices, the monoscopic and stereoscopic. And the monoscopic is just meant for screen viewing, whether it be your computer screen or the smartphones. However, the stereoscopic is meant for Google Cardboard or Samsung VR VR type of viewings. And the word VR, it could be kind of confusing. So I think the industry and Enscape is trying to move away from using the word VR for these panoramic views. So I'm just gonna just say panoramas. But let me just do a quick run through. And Enscape has included nice tool tips as well. And you can just hover over this button right here and read the description of the tool tips. And basically the process is the same for two. I'm just gonna go ahead and press this button right here. And this process may take a while depending on how heavy your view is. However, it would have taken all the settings that you have dialed in so far and then it is just going to generate a stereoscopic view for me. To view the panoramas, you can just click on this button right here, my uploads. And then here there's going to be panoramas and this is the one that I just saved up. And you can just kind of hover around to view different angles and you have different option of uploading panorama to cloud or just fly to that position in your model. So you can just click on save panorama to file and just locate where you want to save it and save yes and you should be able to save it now my preferred option is to upload panorama to the cloud and once i do that and i should be able to see the qr code of that specific panorama and just scan that with your phone or just click on these three dots and copy the link address and then just pull up your browser and just copy that link in and after a few seconds you should be able to just kind of drag across and view that specific panorama that you have just saved up. And you can share this panorama with other people this way as well. And then moving on to the next option of export EXE standalone. I must point out the fact that this is all-in-one royalty-free package Enscape prepares for you for your ultimate viewing experience. And that really sounded like some sort of sales pitch, but it really is. I think the sharing the standalone files are easy and effective. So I have made in that video already. So find the link in the description or just click on right here. And let's just go over very quickly. So all you need to do is find this button right here called export exe standalone and just locate where you want to save that file, save. And when Enscape prompts you saying the export has succeeded, that's it. The VR is actually part of the EXE standalone export. So once you open up this EXE file, you can just go into this flyout menu and just click on this virtual reality and the VR mode will be enabled. But as your model also can be viewed inside of the VR without having a standalone, so I'm going to show you that option. As long as you have all the softwares and hardware set up for the VR experience, make sure I turn on all the controllers before. And you can just simply click on this button right here, VR headset, and then just press that button. And then you will be in the world of VR. And you can do the presentation this way. So while someone else is wearing the VR headset, I'm just gonna rest it on my desk so that you see on my screen. And then I'm just gonna dive into that part. So imagine my left part of the screen is uh, my own laptop screen. 
and this is what the person who's wearing the VR headset is seeing. And the big screen inside of the conference room will be showing this side of the window so that everyone is seeing what is going on in VR Viewer. I'm just moving my headset a little bit and kind of show you what's going on inside of their VR headset as well as the conference room screen. Let's say someone in the conference room or the one who's wearing the VR headset said, um, I want to move these furnitures to their left. So I can just drag these elements across and the changes will immediately show on their screen as well as VR headset and if I wish to change the color of those furnitures I can do so by just changing on my screen and the changes will take effect immediately and if they think this is just too much I can just take that away as well so this flings the door wide open for all different options and better implementation of your design workflow as well as just the presentation itself. So please give it a try and if you're struggling to set up all the hardwares and softwares then you can just click right here or find the link in my description for you to find all the videos that I have made for this specific setup guide and moving on to the next one. Finally, you have stuck around long enough to hear about this new feature, Export Web Standalone. And you do have to make sure that you have downloaded the latest version of Enscape for you to utilize this function, so please do so if you haven't. And I understand Web Standalone Export has been long awaited by the users because it allows you to see the model without having a discrete graphics card. So the old laptop that your client or your boss has finally has a chance of opening up this model and seeing it it on their machine and as always it is very simple to do just find this button that says export web standalone and then Enscape will upload the web export and then Enscape will load the model directly into your browser so it is loading at the moment and then the web address up here you should be able to just share as a link and they can just click on to view this on their own browser And you can simply explore your model using the arrow keys. It is slightly different to WASD control. However, everything's gonna look exactly the same as the one that you had been seeing on your EXE standalone or the normal Enscape viewer. And all the controls are available here. Just use the arrow keys to move, E and Q to fly up and down, fast and faster control for shift and control key. And you can hide this instruction by hitting H or toggle fly and walk mode. And you can look around using your mouse, left button, and then right button to orbit around from that point on. And you can also shift the time of the day by holding down your shift key and then right mouse button. So it is incredibly simple but effective to do this option right here. And if you accidentally close this browser and trying to find where the link was, go to the same place as the panoramas, my uploads, and then there's a tab called web standalones. And you can just click on that and you should be able to just find the model that you have just uploaded. So you just click on that and it should be popping up on your browser again. So all of these variety of export options that Enscape offers allows you to save any format that you need to get your job done. With the new addition of being able to export web standalone, the sharing of your design became so much easier. I will still do a lot of render images because sharing images across other people are effective at times. So what is a favorite export option for you or the most effective export option for you? Please leave a comment down below, let me know, share your ideas and if you like the video please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to continue watching this type of videos and I'll see you next time bye